we managed to kill the dragon. Even more astonishing than that, it appears I have been chosen by Akatosh. I have the blood of dragons, and with it a power famous among the Lords, akin to magic, but more primal. My very voice staggers my foes. Upon my return to Whiterun, I met with the Jarl again. He was suitably impressed by our victory and granted me the title of Thane in recognition for my service to the Hold. The Jarl also told me that I should seek out the Greybeards, the masters of the Way of the Voice. They can teach me to use this new power and what it means to be Dragonborn. But I decided to take some time to become more familiar with this land. There is strife among its people on all levels, from the civil war begun by Ulfric Stormcloak to the squabbles among the noble houses of Whiterun. Perhaps the most significant benefit of my new title has been the appointment of Lydia, my new housecarl. She is a capable warrior and is sworn to protect me. I admit I have become quite used to her presence. With her help, I have taken a few contracts to deal with bandits in the area. The coin and plunder I have earned has allowed me to further my study of magic and alchemy. Skyrim is a place of great natural beauty. While I miss my home, I am growing attached to this cold, rocky land. There are creatures we do not see back in Cyrodiil. The giants and their herds of mammoths roam the plains. They are not overtly hostile, but it was clear they did not like outsiders encroaching on their territory. But I should not delay my destiny any further. The Greybeards await me at the throat of the world. Okay, picking up again in uh, Skyrim. Oh, and it seems I'm under attack. Let's quickly deal with these bandits. Khajiit bandits, eh? And a dual wielder. Aren't you fancy? Let's use some spells. Okay. I've bought a few new spells and I'm... E oh, I should have equipped... Oh, yeah. Um, let's uh, try out some of this new shit. Let's see. Fire rune. I haven't tried out Firebolt yet. So I'm gonna give that a go. Come on. What am I doing wrong? I'm being stupid. Um, yeah, I've got it selected. Maybe I can't use it up close. All right, let's shout at her. There we go. Now, why isn't my spell coming up? I don't understand. Hmm. Firebolt. There we go. Great. Bit too late. Okay. Okay, that was a uh, oh, it's a dark. Oh my God, it's a member of the Dark Brotherhood. They're assassins. Someone wants me dead. Very specifically, and they're willing to pay for it. As instructed, you are to eliminate Jimtar by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option, Astrid. Well, it looks like you failed. And this is a great opportunity to show off one of the spells that I've uh, uh, learned. Wait a minute. I've messed up my favourites here. Um, no, that's map. Uh, no, wait. <laughs> Messing up all the uh, hotkeys here. Okay, Ray Zombie. This is a really cool spell. Unlike other zombie raising spells, hey, come on, work. It's not working. Oh, assassin is. This isn't top. Assassin is too far, powerful to raise as a zombie. That's unfortunate. Um. Yeah, maybe if I try dual casting it. Uh, I've got dual casting. Uh, conjuration spells. Yeah, Hadouken. Nope, still too powerful. Hey, calm down. I'm just trying to raise the dead. Yeah, anyway, this person, this is Lydia. She is my house carl. Uh, because when I returned to the Jarl, I was granted the title of Thane of Whiterun. And uh, one of the things I got was this uh, assistant slash bodyguard, Lydia. 
Still here. Yes, you're still here. So, I'm a thane. What does that mean? I've already. All right. Oops. What is it? Ugh. The what do you need? The clicking is a bit off. Yeah, search the assassin. Can't do that. Sorry. Oh, you can't. Okay. Well, you're useless. Still need me to do something? No. I've got your back. Oh, look, who's that? Hey. Let's get going, Who are you? Then. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. Oh, he's... He's afflicted. With what? Are you ill? I'm one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. What plague? Where are you going? Returning to High Rock. Our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Kesh could tell you more. I just want out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. Right. Side quests all over the place. Anyway, this path that I'm on the on the road, on the path to, is uh, going to lead me to the Greybeards, who can tell me more about what it means to be Dragonborn. I was directed there by the Jarl of White run after uh yeah keep up let's see solitude white run no um oh flowers yeah i've been spending a lot of time picking flowers and c c catching butterflies cuz you know you can make potions and kill things with it not cuz of cuz of any other reason now another cool spell i have is clairvoyance which tells me i'm going the wrong way there it's basically, it draws like a line towards your quest point. Flowers. Yeah, so I'm up to level 10. And I've got a bunch of new spells. I'm not going to show them all off yet. But most of them are pretty cool. I've got the soul trap spell so I can fill my soul gems now. Wait a minute, I'm going to... And this little quick menu here is quite useful. The Axe of White Run, I got that from the Jarl, and I've got an Orcish War Axe, War Axe of Frost. They're both magical weapons. Oh, and I've set the keys properly now. The right mouse button is my right, and my left mouse button is my left. And that it, it's, it was backwards for some reason, and I found that very confusing. I mean, I suppose it was because they were trying to keep it like the uh, where right click is block, but it's just trying to think backwards all the time is just confusing. But yeah, I mean, look at this game. I'm just constantly stunned by its beauty. Look at this. It's just amazing. I mean, the, the detail and the, the, you know, foxes and things and, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really quite impressed with this game. It's grown on me quite a bit just since the last time I played. Been in, uh, been playing this game for about, well, a, a, an in-game week and about in real time about ten hours or so. Let's see, am I going the right way? Yes, I am. That's very convenient. That spell. <laughs> so the magic system is much better, I think. So is the combat and the alchemy. I'm quite looking forward to raising another zombie. I was a shame. It was a shame I couldn't raise that assassin. But it's cool because they like they get up and they go and stuff. Hey, look, there's a fox. Should I kill it? Should I kill the fox? Can I find the fox? Oh, look, what's this? Mushrooms. Hmm. Can make out of them. Oh, look at these waterfalls. It's just astonishing. I want to jump down it, but I shouldn't. <laughs> and also, so far, my companion hasn't really got in the way very much. Usually they just get underfoot and annoy me. But she doesn't say very much. She's not... I don't think she's got any real quest lines associated with her. She's just like a... Yeah, sorry I'm boring you. God damn it. <laughs> she's just like a... Mer uh, not a mercenary, because she's... Well, she's being paid, but she's like on a bound. So I don't have to pay her, which is handy. Oh look, cooking pot. <laughs> I haven't seen any need to use one of them. Have I been here before? I remember seeing one of these bridges before. It was inhabited by bandits. It was quite cool. Wait, I've got a spell for this. Yeah, but whenever I get my spell hand out, she thinks there's 
combat afoot and gets out her sword. Oh, she's vigilant at least. Oh, and I also found out that uh, there isn't the same kind of level scaling that there is in Oblivion. Which is good, where, you know, uh, what would happen is that the whole world would level up with you, so there was no challenge to any certain areas or enemies. It would just remain the same. And I think that was a mistake, and I think they realised... Oh god, I was saying it's a stag or something. And uh, I think they realised that was a mistake, because... Wolf. Okay, because they've they've done away with that, as far as I can tell. Because I found that out <laughs> when I went into a cave, and <laughs> sneak attack, I think. Oh, good one. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I went into a cave filled with trolls, and it, they basically annihilated me really rather quickly, and. Uh, so, that was one way to learn about the lack of level scaling. Anyway, how close I am to the am I to this place now? Wait a minute, I've been going the wrong way. Have I? I've been following the damn... Have I got to go a, a different way around? I mean, I was here before, and... Oh, that is weird. I guess I... Wait, wait a minute, let's do this clairvoyance thing again. I guess it shows you the most sort of... Easy route. Okay, that's definitely the wrong way. Hmm. It's over there somewhere, but I guess I can't just leap over those mountains. <laughs> that reminds me. The I haven't done the spellcrafting or enchanting part of this game yet. I think I need to find that Wizards Academy, which is way off in the northeast. But um, sorry, getting distracted by all these flowers. Yeah, but in in Morrowind, the spell cut, the spell gather, the spell crafting system was great because you could, uh, uh, when you were high enough level, you could cast a jump spell, which, like it's, it sounds like it is. Uh, oh, it would allow you to. Excuse me a minute. Just gotta burn some dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah, I said that before. It would allow you to cast a jump spell that was very brief but very powerful so I'd cast it and then immediately jump and I could like do like a 200 feet, foot high jump and just as long which was really fun and it seems like I've uh, am I even I'm really confused by the by the direction I'm being taken here yeah anyway Another nice touch in this game is that, um, the, oh, what the hell? That doesn't look... Somebody's... See, I don't want to just attack somebody. Because, hey look, there's a butterfly. I'll catch that. Okay. Oh, he's just, some guy has killed these wild animals. Saber cats. He's pretty tough. Hey, it's an old orc. If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. A good death? Hey, this reminds me of a guy in uh, Morrowind. I mean, uh, Oblivion, who wanted to die. Why do you wish... To, uh, a good death? Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. Ah. Uh, why do you wish to die? My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age, <laughs> so I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. Hmm. You don't look that old to me. Certainly you're still a strong, capable warrior. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. Hmm. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are grey and feeble and their hair falls out. <laughs> to cling to something past its usefulness is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? Hmm. Perhaps I could give you the death you seek. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? 
Hmm. Well, I mean, it's uh, the guy doesn't want to die of old age. He doesn't want to get old and feeble. Who am I to argue with him? If that's his choice, I will be your euthanasia. I'm sure I will give you a good death. Hmm. We shall see. Never should have come here. What are you talking about? You just asked me to. Okay, you just slashed me in the face. I'm gonna do something about this. Uh, okay, let's. First, I'm gonna knock him back. Conjure me, my familiar. Oh, come on, cast. There. And what next. Let's see. Firebolt. Hadouken. <laughs> I think my house car is what doing this for me. It's easy. Yeah, you weren't so tough. Happy now? Are you having any good loot? Oh well. What do you think of that? Was that wrong? How about you, familiar transparent dog? <laughs> yeah. Well, if he left these sabre cat remains, might as well take these. Yeah. I didn't want to die in bed, he wanted to die on the battlefield and I should have let him fight me one-on-one, -on -one, but like a coward, a cowardly mage... Hey, stop complaining. I'm talking. Like a cowardly mage, I stood by and let my familiar and my uh, uh, my housecarl do the work for me. 